Hello guys, today I want to show you how to make an inflated logo. I use Discord logo to make this effect. Start off by going to the top view and adding a reference picture. I'm gonna find my Discord logo, which I have saved here. Now you're going to add a plane and scale it up so it covers your logo. Go back to your reference, go into this menu and set the opacity to 0.25 and set the depth to front. Now go back to your plane, go into edit mode and navigate to your knife tool. And now you're just going to trace your logo with the knife tool. It doesn't have to be precise because we're going to use the remesh modifier afterwards. So you just have to trace it roughly. Now you're going to delete the faces you don't need. So for my instance, it would be these. So you have only the logo behind, left behind. And now extrude your logo so you have uh, has a bit of depth. Hide your reference and go into add modifiers and add a remesh modifier. Turn down the voxel size so you have a lot of detail, like this. Then I'll show you two ways to inflate it. The first one will be sculpting. So if you apply your remesh modifier, go down and find the cloth filter, choose inflate and drag over your, your mesh. Then it will inflate. And that's probably fine for the most part, but if you have a really detailed model, this would probably not work. So I'll shoot you. So I'll show you a second way to do it. So if you go back to your layout and go into the physics tab and add a cloth physics. Then you'll go down to field rates and uh, turn off gravity. And then turn on pressure and set the pressure to 50. Now when you press play, it's going to inflate your mesh. I think my pressure value is too high, so I will lower it a bit and play again. And then you can right click and press shade smooth. And then you have an inflated logo which have more seams and depth. But I will go with I'll go with the sculpting method for this. But as you see it doesn't have that detail of the ribbon. But I think it's fine for my job. Now for the texture, you're going to add a glossy texture. So change the surface to glossy. I found out that point 0.3 works really well. And if you want the exact color you can go into your reference picture and turn the opacity up again, navigate to your material and use the eyedropper tool to choose the color. And when I go into material view, I have the exact same color. And that's all for the video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon.